All right, so one of the best purchases I've made for my Model 3 is the Neo Charge. I already have a 240 volt plug installed in my garage, which I use for my dryer. Now, I didn't want to get a separate meter installed because one, it's really expensive and it's a lot of labor. So with the Neo Charge, it's really cool. It lets you plug two devices into one 220 or 240 volt plug. There's all sorts of different adapters. So you can use NEMA 1430s or 1450s. I have a NEMA 1430, so I was able to plug that in, plug my dryer into the primary and my car into the secondary. It's really cool is when I start my dryer, my car stops charging. When I stop the dryer, my car starts charging. So let's check it out. All right, so this is the Neo Charge. It arrives in a small box. It's got a scan code for the instructions and here's the device itself. It's pretty small. It's got a plug on each side. The left is for the primary, right is for the secondary, and it plugs right into the wall. It also comes with a bracket to mount to your wall outlet and all the screws needed to attach it. So getting it installed is super simple. Most of the time your plug is gonna be upright. Mine unfortunately is sideways, so this is how I had to install it. You take the included screws and you attach the bracket to the faceplate. NeoCharge recommends that you turn your breaker off before attaching this. I also recommend it, but it's not something that I did. So what we're gonna do here is plug this in and then you'll see on the sides, there's two tabs, which use the additional screws to attach the bracket to the Neo Charge. This holds it in place and makes it super secure. All right, now we're gonna plug in your first device to the primary, which for me is gonna be my dryer, and I'm gonna plug the Tesla into the secondary outlet, which will be the right side. All right, so now let's go plug the car in and see how this works. Plug it directly in, it starts to charge. The app shows we are charging. All right, now let's go inside and check out what's going on with the actual Neo Charge itself. If we look here, there's a green light on top and the Tesla wall plug is clearly showing it's charging. The bottom has a white light to show that the primary plug is off. Over on the dryer, I'm gonna leave the app open here so you can see what's happening and we will hit start and you'll see the app go from charging to charging interrupted. Now what's cool is the dryer will actually start going but it's not producing full heat as the amps are still being dedicated to the car. So once it switches, the dryer is using the full dedicated voltage. Usually only takes a second to do and you'll hear a click on the Neo Charge itself. And if we look over here on the Neo Charge, you'll see the top light is yellow and the bottom light is now green, which indicates the dryer is using the Neo Charge. All right, so let's go back to the dryer, turn this off. Then we're gonna go back to the Neo Charge. And on the Tesla app, we will click start charging. You'll hear a click on the Neo Charge and it'll switch over and we are now charging the Tesla. All right, hopefully you found this video informative, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below.